This is a HeadGum Original. Fuck. You guys ready? Okay. I can't. I feel like this I'm, sucks. This I'm really not sucks. listening to anything. Is it that bad? I was Why don't you just do this? One ear. Yeah, but that's the same. Like that's the same thing. What do you mean? No, like taking it off? Hear it in the room. Oh no, it's more it's, balanced. It's better. It's okay. All right, that's <laughs> fine. Miles isn't even fucking wearing it. He says he's gonna wear it necklace style. <laughs> no, because I just the monitoring <laughs> situation in here it since kills. the get go has always been silly. Yeah. yeah. So there's a little bit coming in the right. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of terrified no, you want to play me. No Head come after dark. I was so yeah, worried you to play the oh, original did. version of that song. Sorry. That's why Head I was... after dark. I yeah. said that when I walked in. You yeah. walked in with a spin drift. That's yeah. what you meant to say. Just I did there. walk in with a spin He did say Hedgum After Dark. Really? So I don't know if that was like you quoting him or like. That was me saying it for the first time or like. Yeah. I said it on the way in. Yeah. And I said it at the same time. I thought it. Melanie Bracewell on the show <laughs> all the way from New Zealand. I, 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 I she was. She out just for this, which is crazy. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, what a bad trip. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> really bad trip. It genuinely feels like it because I'm staying in Santa Monica and I had to take an hour and a half Uber to get oh. here. How many? Oh. <laughs> I forget how yeah. big LA is. I was yeah. like, oh, I'll be there. Like, it's fine. <laughs> And I was just like, that really <laughs> worth sucks. It. Yeah. Worth it, yeah. Yeah. Worth it, ladies. Yeah. Ladies. Don't ever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still soaring off of the Powerhouse Women episode. When you the one you heard. What's that? Yeah. I didn't say anything. I mean, I started to say. Headgum after dark. Right? So? So the energy is kind of fun. Is it not nor so it's like when you're recording during daylight, what's all the energy business. like? All okay. business That's, during working yeah. hours. So yeah. this is fun you. Which this is yeah. If like yeah. I don't know what was happening before because it was like a mess before too. It already feels worse. Really? Yeah. yeah. Plug your guys' stuff up top. <laughs> Plug it up to you all have a lot going on. We haven't proven ourselves I in the stage of comedy to. yet. All right. I'm editing this crazy too, because it's uh, Head gum after, after dark. dark. Yeah. Say it with me, obviously. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Like, what gets us out of the room the fastest? 57 minutes of joy and mm-hmm. sort of an aspirational <laughs> hour of wisdom. <laughs> I'm going to, I've Thank already you. ordered my Uber. I, I it's think gonna I'm going to take an hour. It's going <laughs> to take that long take to get here. Another yeah. hour and a half just to think about this. What? Why is everybody already soured on the idea of the podcast? No, I'm excited to see what you've got in store. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, I've literally told Daniel, as I was getting ready to come here, I'm like, I don't have to do anything. Like, I don't have to <laughs> prep anything. This isn't my show. Yeah. I don't have to try. You didn't bring anything? I'm There's not- like 20 minutes that I was like, oh, Riley will fill that. Wish I would have known. I mean, I can do it. I have, I, mean, no, I, I have a little something. I'll figure it out. What do you I have? have? A little something. Oh, you yeah? always bring something. You want me to do it today? <laughs> I'm also saying plug your shit because <laughs> Melanie saying... doesn't know who you guys. Well, she knows Riley. She I doesn't know who the fuck you hey, are. Uh, it's nice to meet you, by the way. <laughs> um, I have a podcast called Perfect Person. It's calling it advice show. <laughs> oh my god! I said you didn't want to plug. Yeah, I don't know. It has a lot yeah. of listeners, so you're actually sitting with podcast royalty. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, yeah we do okay. People listen. It's nice. Uh, it's not Melanie's like the doing very well. So if someone goes. Yeah, we do okay. It's nice. 100 million listeners a pop. <laughs> That's too many. So many <laughs> listeners that you get rolled up on by the pops. By the pops. Yeah, and that was a pop, so yeah. watch the levels. Um, Melanie's like the most famous Kiwi in the world, though. That's not true at all. Who is? Um, Don't say the prime minister. Can you I do us all a service Jacinda of nothing? Jacinda Ardern would be pretty high up there. Do you want to do your Jacinda? Rose McIver. You know Rose McIver. She's doing pretty well. She's Father an American Concords. citizen, I thought. Why? What made you think that? I don't fucking care. You can be a citizen of somewhere else, but like be originally from a different place. <laughs> don't act confused. What? Don't. I have a question for you. So if Miles when? is like a, a billionaire with a million listeners. Yeah. Sorry, 100 million mm-hmm. listeners 100 million. per pop. Sure. Melanie is the most famous Kiwi ever. What am Love I? It. What's my thing? 
Riley also has a really successful podcast. No, no, just no, got into no, no, no. It's like it has got, to be different than Miles's. Yes, it just got into the. Well, I know one big really thing about, talented actor producer. No. Well, you're it's missing so the. I, think, I thought you were gonna be like supermodel of the world, like yeah. So you wanted me to say something runways, really specific. Like you don't do those yeah, things. I was gonna say I, we were just having fun. <laughs> the curtain bangs didn't come up. <laughs> That's fine. We don't have to talk about her. If I why would that would be offensive if I talked about your hair. No, it wouldn't. No, because it's a showstopper no, that Riley wouldn't. is really excited about. You're right about. that it you is a showstopper. Went, you just got the curtain bangs? I got them a couple months ago, but, <laughs> but honestly, Miles, <laughs> I got them trimmed recently. <laughs> That's wow. right. Yeah. That's damn right. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. I care. When you're I was on Miles' show, you just, I just got into the New York Comedy Festival. We're talking about your bangs. I described my bangs <laughs> no as response. an accessory <laughs> that I have all the time. That's I want to end the show there. Plus, really what do you have going on? What do you want to put? You're doing, what is it, a charity? fundraiser (laughs) (laughs) that's what this feels like yeah yeah Yeah, i was gonna say that's character (laughs) guesting on the air and Mm. um so what are you guys up to later um so i actually have just some stuff i want so fast so fast that he's bringing this up well i guess i just wanted to i'll say it we'll do a little thing where i'll say a quote okay and you guys tell me what you think oh my god you actually brought a little something i did bring a little something um, <clears throat> I think a, is Jeff leaving? Are you Lave. fucking kidding? Is the camera not squared up on me? Not focused, that's Are you oh my god! Me? <laughs> this is an outrage. This is an outrage. If you just talked like normal on the show, like if you didn't acknowledge that I was up, people wouldn't have seen me up, and it wouldn't have interrupted the show. His eye line would have moved, and people would have been like, "Why is his eye line moving?" No, that's well, correct. That lazy eye. I don't though. <laughs> But, I but, but if I did, I would have taken offense. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're changing every so every so camera is all out of focus. They're all bad. That's crazy. And what are the chances? It's fine. If you just like randomly adjusted it, there would be like there's enough cameras that one of them should be in focus. Uh, yeah, and like why statistics. would they what ever the be out of focus? focus? The producer cam was fine. <laughs> I think a great comedian is someone who can play language like an in- instrument. Jeffrey what? James. We're cutting this. We're obviously <laughs> cutting this. Why we're cutting this? Why? What? <laughs> Why, Jeff? Because you also said a couple other choice things in here that are a little oh, bit wait, questionable. Are these quotes from Jeff. This is an interview with Jeff from <laughs> Who Gives a Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, this is the earliest we've ever cut to break. No way Why? we're cutting to break. I want to hear. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, sometimes you feel uncertain about where you're going in life, right? You don't know what the right path is or how you're going to get through it. But that's true of all of life. We're always faced with tough choices and the path is not always clear. You know, whether you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life so that you can move forward with confidence and excitement. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. I'm in therapy every week, you know, I hope it shows. And uh, I do it because I want to better myself. I want to constantly be evolving, hopefully, towards a better, more evolved version of myself. And that's why I'm in therapy. That's why therapy is worth giving a try. And if you're not going to do it for you, at least do it for the people around you so that you can show up as the best version of yourself. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash What's That today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash What's That? Thanks, BetterHelp. <laughs> Any of this. <laughs> Let's figure out what the point of it is. No, we're not so doing this. Not <laughs> doing, <laughs> I've never seen <laughs> real in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I did there an interview genuine, did with you, my sister's mean, magazine. But you made that genuinely? Kind yeah, of, because it was a really earnest, <laughs> it's an earnest publication, so I gave oh earnest my gosh. answers. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't say what the question was. It wasn't unprompted. <laughs> I think of my comedy like a cello. I, uh, I'm writing. This is so much worse because it's of what's so gonna happen after this just during the show. Just to start, it's like uh, I guess I'm Jeffrey James. I live in Los Angeles, and 
<laughs> I guess I think of my comedy like a multifaceted <laughs> like entity. A tuba. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're kind of like in an orchestra at the moment. And you, know? I, you can be conductor and first chair violin at the mm -hmm. same time. That's I'm right. first Did you ever play any instruments, Chief? Are you, a, are you a musician of sorts? I played the clarinet because I was forced to do it in school. Oh, so you played the I, I, played, I played clarinet as well. And then I would forget to eat breakfast and um, so faint. <laughs> sorry, like, why, why are you forgetting to eat breakfast? That seems unrelated because you're, you're blowing eat. so much air out. That's too much air, by the way, to play the clarinet. <laughs> I played clarinet and I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> I had music for breakfast. No, my clarinet teacher like sent me to the school counselor because I kept fainting at clarinet practice and because I, I wasn't eating enough food. And just oh, blowing no. a lot of air. Yeah, I think I was stand. I just, you have to stand and blow for so long. It's crazy. You're <laughs> you with me? No. Did we I all guess do that? I had breakfast. <laughs> it was fine. I was bad at the clarinet. I, I've oh. got ADHD. I, and I did play it because of Squidward. Did you well. played Squid Clarinet because you liked the Squid. I played it. a woodwind because of Squidward. Well, it's interesting you bring don't up music because it sounds like assonance at all. No, no, I'm that not agreeing with you. Don't look at no, me like that. Yeah, exactly it didn't right. even have no. the same vowel sound. It's I interesting that Jeff's talking about music, though, because he says, I take oh. a lot of inspiration from music. When I write, I usually hop back and forth between my laptop and my guitar. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'm, I'm to, really to, to whom it may concern <laughs> an email. Oh wait, I'm gonna do a sick call. Just give me a minute. I don't think I I've ever it. seen him blush. It's so funny because yeah. I did so little prep for this, yeah. and it's like cutting so deep. <laughs> anyway, he is Wonderwall. Oh my god. <laughs> I googled Crazy. Jeffrey James interview and the first thing that came up hasn't been brought up to you in a silly context before, which is so surprising. I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> My sister runs a, a <laughs> she runs this like very serious, cool online magazine, yeah. and she was like, "I'd love to interview you for it," and I was like. What the fuck am like, I supposed you, to say? Like, and so I kind of was a, I was trying sister. to I know, but I was trying to do something more. But I why was is that something so pretentious to a sibling. Like she Because it was published. <laughs> I'm just imagining you like you type a couple lines of a script and you're like, Well, that's really dead. funny. That makes me think of oh <laughs> This is I typed, up. I typed the letter C and that's actually a chord that <laughs> I really resonate with. I gotta play this role again. <laughs> I'm only playing Sting. <laughs> but on a guitar. He starts oh trying to write God. an email on the How guitar. How many more quotes do you need to get out of your system? This before article we is really long. I mean, I'll bring up some well, later, but you can, we can move no, on. No, it can, can't be a through line. I, I'm going to throw up. Isn't it crazy <laughs> when you're working? They call it a keyboard. And when you think about um, it, isn't a keyboard just... Another oh instrument. <laughs> it's goes back so to the wild. guitar for some reason. <laughs> I mean, there's some quotes in here I'm not even comfortable saying because they're so intimate. But <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, of course. So don't say so any long. of the interview. It's really special. I need to hear more. Oh man. I mean, uh, let me just sort of. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair play. <laughs> Bond of the week. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> basically, every week until the next 007 is cast, mm. we're lobbying up mm. our <laughs> casting options for the next James. What happens yeah. when is this? Will this segment just be gone? No, it'll just be over. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> 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 um, my pick this week is Stephen Sondheim. Why? Sondheim. Stephen Bondheim. You think he can pull oh, it, it off? Oh, it just has to sort of <laughs> no. sound. No, afraid not. Uh, it can be anything <laughs> you want, but thing. so it's instead of like, so what can you do on a Saturday night alone? It'll be that is the only <laughs> Sondheim reference you ever sing. So what can you do with a boss named M as Bond? <laughs> Fuck you guys, right? Because I, I put a lot of effort into this shit. Did you? He Googles one thing, clicks on the first result he says, everybody's dying, everybody's in stitches. How much time, and also what chords Hour after and a half. writing that did you Hour play on the guitar? and a half. What song None. did you play None. after writing that? I I'm gonna go with Harry Styles. Fine. Mel? 
I'm going to go with Lynn Manuel Miranda. <laughs> oh, Lynn Manuel Bondranda. <laughs> <Boy>. Yeah. Riley? <laughs> I was 007. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm gonna go with um, a barista at the, at this coffee shop near where I live. Name drop. Uh, I only know the first name. Uh, his first name is Cam, and it it's is- crazy because James Bond often starts with the last name. Yes, <laughs> the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm it's like, getting first I don't even know. I just last remember name. like. Just Kim gave me this is for visual. Kim gave me like a very knowing look one time. I'm like, uh, can I get like two percent milk in that? Do you have that? And Cam just kind of like looks back. He's like, uh, yeah. I think we can make that work. So and because like, oh, he's oh, fine. Oh, you're a spy. <laughs> was, and you're a spy. He was fine with you having dairy, and now you think he should be the next double O. Yes. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. I, and I don't mean this to hurt your feelings. That might be the worst bond of the week we've ever done. <laughs> I think Can is going to do great. Cam. 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 You think his name was Cam? <laughs> I thought it was Can. Why are we not lambasting him for that? <laughs> Can Bond. You're going to change the name of the fucking name. Can Bond. What? Wait, do that again. The name's Bond. Can Bond. Oh. (laughs) Can. It's a family name. Yeah. Your first name. So Can Jr.? (laughs) Yeah. Got it. Um, Let me ask you guys this. Uh, how many idiots does it take to rob the Gucci store? Don't <laughs> act like you didn't have this prepared. You looked at your laptop and then you went, oh, yeah. <laughs> when you saw you read it. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering, how many dumbasses would it take to rob a Gucci store? How many? How many? Nine. Nine idiots. <laughs> what is elaborate? Uh, elaborate. <laughs> Earlier today, the Gucci store in Century City at the Century City Mall was robbed by nine fools. That was today. Maybe yesterday. A- and I just I wanted to know. If, I wanted I wanted you guys to guess. It was sort Sorry, of like a so conversation there was no starter. Joke. It was just how many does it take? I think you're gonna be like one to watch the door. One to da da da. But you just like guess the number. Yeah, I thought it was a conversation starter. You thought. So. Did you want us to be like, whoa, that's crazy. And you call them idiots, so like you're just like quite upset by this story. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the horse bit like loafers are worth yeah. their yeah. weight yeah. in gold. Yeah. Stole from the rich and gave to themselves. Mr. Beast is reportedly suing his ghost kitchen partner who makes <gasps> the Mr. Beast burger. Mm. Wow. Be- because due to reports that the burgers are, according to customers, disgusting and quote revolting so my question to y'all is what would your ghost kitchen be sorry yeah so So the question is not like you know mr beast has a mr beast burger what would your burger be the question is what would your ghost kitchen be that you're a celebrity and shut up I'm not talking about you. <laughs> oh, I can't even wow. watch. Okay, oh, right. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. My name's Ken Bracewell. <laughs> I was saying, like, yeah. in this in the event that you guys are like a really famous rich celebrity. Okay. Yeah. Humbled. Tom Holland. No, I'm not saying which celebrity would you be or who you would fuck. Ooh, James Cameron. Wow. He's, I don't know if you're not hearing me James or if you just don't Cameron's understand. Ghost Kitchen. Cameron Diaz. <laughs> James Cameron Diaz mm. Kitchen. Mm-hmm. No, all these celebrities are pairing up with like fucking DoorDash affiliates and ma- making like ghost kitchens where they don't have a storefront, but they make a product. And Oh, that's what a ghost kitchen is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then you now, can what order... did you think a ghost kitchen was? <laughs> Haunted oven. And that's what and that's what I was worried about. And that's what I was worried about. Uh we rarely do this, but I'm gonna take another break. What are you talking about? No way. That was a good joke. You gotta end on that. Okay. That was not. Today we're here with a sponsor for your bouncing bundle of joy. No, we're not talking about a baby. We're talking about your baby makers. That's right. Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped. Just like babies, your delicate little guys have sensitive skin and deserve products that are not only skin safe, but made with safe ingredients. That's where Manscaped's Platinum Package comes in. From razors to shower care, this package goes above the gold standard for your body hair. 
So treat your beautiful boys to the world's finest toys at manscaped.com and use our code what's that for 20% off plus free shipping. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. They designed this package to allow you to fully align your entire hygiene routine with elite products. Inside this Platinum Package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 Trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Ultra Premium Body Wash, Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, Ultra Premium Deodorant, Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner, Anti-Chafing Boxers, and the Shed Travel Bag to hold your goods while traveling. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code What's That at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code What's That. Use the Platinum Package because the gold standard is no longer good enough. I have a question. Well, yeah. I have a question. Okay. What, I'm sure I've asked this in the past, but it's been a while since I've been on this show. And I'm wondering, what is the, what is it? <laughs> I was actually also wondering that. Because it's like, we're getting news segment jokes, like kind of like a weekend update type of vibe. But yeah. then we're also getting mm-hmm. Bond of the, I'm just, I guess like what, like um the why, like the why of the show. Yeah. And it takes away some of your, and just to pile on. Right, just just to add insult to insult, it takes away some of your sort of um, evil power to be behind the desk while we're all over here. Yes, completely. Yeah, I thought it was sort of like Ozian. No, no, I can barely see you because there's like a camera (laughs) and another camera. Like you're behind. Do you want to take a picture of on your phone and we'll put it in right here? Yeah, you're behind two tripods. It's difficult to kind of render you. Yeah, Yeah, sort of a sex pod. Sorry? Double try. Don't look at me after you say something like that. (laughs) I have that one in my show, too. I know you do. I added that one the week before I would guest it on Perfect Person, and then it was the first sound you played, and I was like, holy shit, this is an honor. Yeah. Um, Great minds. Guys, let's fucking... Let's rein it in, right? Let's figure out what you your ghost cushion would be. You said that after such a long be. silence. We, would no, we did nothing to rein it. <laughs> and can I say this? This is because Mel picked a bone with me that I've been picking with the guests for years. Mm. She said that the show is. What did you say? It was kind of uncomfortable to listen to. No, because, I, didn't. <laughs> but just, I mean, that's but it's not, like, it's nothing to, that no one hasn't said before. It's just about the right, pauses, but it's more and like just that. being. So comfortable in silence is what I say. I'm not comfortable with it. This is what I want to talk about because okay. I'm constantly preaching overlapping dialogue. But everything that I say seems to pause everyone, stop everybody in their tracks. I want it to be like radio. I want it to be like, Miles is kind of interrupting the tail end of my sentence. You want it to be like radio? There's one, I mean, sorry, uh, you were about to say something. I was just gonna say, I used to work in radio and if there was a long enough pause, the station would start playing a song because it would be like it's, it would be like something's wrong that something hasn't played correctly and if it was like it had to be re- ridiculously long like 30 seconds oh my god and one time there was a minute silence uh that was i can't remember what it was for but then about halfway through it's Britney, bitch. And it was just... <laughs> like a moment of silence voice. for someone who had passed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's do 30 seconds of silence no, right now. And, not, no, no, let's you just do it. You would not be able to handle it. Let's just do it and see I'll how, see if, how, see how see it goes. Happens. Let's just see what okay, happens. Okay, all right, that's yeah. fine. How right. long you can I'm go. I'm going to set a 30-second time. Okay. Right this is the worst segment. Starting now. Don't cook rice fine. Singe rice like sand.
damned. Don't cook rice fine. Burn rice like cans. No one should ever steam their rice al dente. You should scorch it. Torch the grains. <laughs> and if somebody serves you rice al dente, don't feel pressured. Trash that rice. Don't owe Makase. So long. Such a long bit. Don't trust the chef. <laughs> Chefs don't know rice. <laughs> Trash rice from chefs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love no with Basmati. The, <laughs> the whole fucking thing. All right, clarinet solo. Seared <laughs> skillets that are cast. It's a rice that feels like sand. <laughs> so sharp. You made it though. Yeah. When you hold it in your hands, don't underchar rice. <laughs> Don't cook rice fine. Scald every bite of rice. <laughs> or eat a pear. So there are so oh many God. grains yeah, of rice to choose it. from. Let me name some. No way. No. Long uh, rice. <laughs> That's it. Long grain <laughs> white rice, brown rice, black rice, and red rice. Okay. Thai jasmine rice. <laughs> Tons of grits. <laughs> it's our grits rice. <laughs> grits count as rice. <laughs> You should singe grits. <laughs> Poison. <laughs> Dark soy. Fish sauce. <laughs> Flamed grains. <laughs> Flimmed. Don't cook rice fine. He's guessing. Can you dig it? Don't cook Can rice you fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cook rice fine. And that was a moment of silence for, <laughs> <laughs> for Jeffrey James. For Jeffrey James. For God may he rest his soul. What do you want us to say? I want to talk through the lyrics and get notes on them. Yeah, okay. I mean, I have a lot of notes. Firstly, so long. So long. We've I never did a full song. You came it. in as sort of like a secondary voice, being like, <laughs> what kind of rise? I'll tell yeah. you. Yeah. 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 It was a call and response. Well, there sure. is like a call and response portion basically at the same time you said it, oh. where he's like, don't let me down. I mean, where to start? One, I just, the reason I was raising my hand during the moment of silence, I just want to double back really quick, mm. is that I would like to see a 30 second moment of silence where you don't have another task to do, where you actually have to sit in a moment of silence without like, oh, I got to pull up, don't <sighs> cook rice fine, you know, yeah, yeah. cue up the music, mm -hmm. got to get the lyrics. It's like that took up the 30 seconds for you. Sure. And so I want, the reason I was reading my hand was like, hey, cut that shit out. Let's like literally be in this. Yeah, be in the moment. Yeah. You know? yeah no, like sometimes I need to focus moment. up. But I think sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, you're teeing something up instead yeah. of being here right now. That's what I was going to say, be here now. Yeah, sort of. Were you going to say that? Well, it's like Ram Dass, yeah, he always says that. A lyric I enjoyed, this is me being really nice, <laughs> 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 was don't trust chefs. Yeah, I felt yeah. like yeah, you were making good. a political point. I like that. And it really, I felt like you believed that when you said don't it. omakase or like don't. We're going to yeah. talk through the lyrics. We don't need to do the whole thing. We'll do the whole thing. We don't need to. We'll do the whole thing. Oh, it's don't okay. worry. I think we can sort of give our bullet points and then maybe. I think I just talked through them, you know, real okay. quick and you guys so can talk So do the whole song yourselves. again, basically. Just yeah. not do the, the whole. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Is that what you're worried about? 
That's not what I'm worried about. Don't cook rice fine. Singe rice like sand. And again, I just want to, and I hate to, uh, this is a bit from how many years, seven years ago? It was last fall. No, we've no, been doing rice you've bits been, for either oh, about Omsby? a part of Are you talking about Omsby? I don't, whatever the rice <laughs> situation Three for and you. a half years ago. No, Three, no more. It's been much it's been more. longer. Oh, the exactly rice. <laughs> yes. So five years. Yeah. yeah. So it was five years ago to the day that that sort of came into your life and then we're sort of here rehashing. I don't like endings. Yeah. Don't cook rice fine. Burn grains from cans. Uh, does it? Do you think rice comes in a can? <laughs> There's no way you couldn't find a variety of ra- rice that comes in. And a can. when it would are be you cooked sand, already? By the <laughs> way, it came in a can. It would That's be a great start. Because then all you have to do is char it. I want for like a special episode. I want you to cook rice the way you describe it in your music. Scraping like to, scraps, singing like sand. Singe yeah. the sand, you know, whatever the fuck you talk about. And I want you to eat it. And I want you to put hoisin, yeah. dark soy, fish sauce, the whole shebang. <laughs> a lot of sauce. <laughs> a lot of sauce. You scream, don't trust ships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a beautiful like, performance art piece. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I mean, because you're not going to get that char, you're not going to get those grits unless you use a ton of sauce with a lot of sweets. Sorry? <laughs> sort of foreshadowing, because the next one we do might be also incorporating sugar. The next one we do? We do. You mean the next song that you sing on this No show? one should ever steam their rice al dente. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I have that tattooed. <laughs> That's so weird yeah, that you mentioned that. You should scorch it, torch the grains. And again, you are pausing, I guess, for us to say good job. <laughs> I, I've had something caught in my throat for a while. It's not COVID. Bear right back. I'm going to go just like um, figure this out really quick. Yeah. And you're sure you don't just like need a break? She's, no, I'm positive. You can really keep going. She says yeah. it's not COVID. And you then she says this she's This camera just turned off. Feels wrong. Yep. Yeah. Right. Got it. So sorry, your cam. Yeah, Jeff is now in the dark because he he's sort of alone. In no the more tech seeing booth. me, I guess. Uh, no, the other cameras are on. Yep. Because I need to make sure that yeah, I'm on camera. Yours turned off. And if somebody you're just serves extremely blurry. It's yeah. just well, like they were all out of focus, which makes no sense because no one is ever sitting in an area that's not these chairs. So it should theoretically right. never be out of focus. Exactly. That's what like what I miss. You were gone for like you got so brief a moment. Did you go and clear your throat? Yeah. Yes. Because I didn't want to be on mic. That's fine to be on mic. It's okay to clear your throat. And if nah, somebody you wouldn't have wanted to hear that one. That was a. That was he just did, a, did, you he did like a seven-minute song about burning rice. <laughs> I don't think we need to worry. <laughs> About and like, if somebody oh, serves okay. you rice, you said you said you weren't going to sing, sing it again. That you was said, talk singing. That was talk singing. No, that's halfway, but not all the way. There. No, that's what you were doing. The song you talk sang. If I sing, if I say that I'm abstaining from sex for a summer, I feel like I can kiss people. What? Sorry, I, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> don't if some and if somebody serves you rice al dente, don't feel pressured. Trash that rice. What are we doing right now? We heard the fucking song. Yeah, we, we don't have anything once. to say about it other than what we've already said. I Is just... this the last segment? <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to pad time until the end? Trying to pad time. time. Yeah. Are you trying to okay. pad time? We got there. Don't own my Wait, by the way, your camera's still off. <laughs> we don't need to see me. We, we absolutely. Now. You're the main character. <laughs> Don't omakase. There's no way you're not. Don't crazy. trust the chef. Jeff, tr- as a, as a uh, podcast producer, yes. take out your phone. Cannot. Can't? Can't. Or won't. won't. Can't w- bond. Won't? <laughs> no, because the file's going to be like 18 gigabytes. Turn on the camera. Turn on the no, webcam. Because you, you, you guys weren't here when Melanie saw that I was like trying to set this camera up and it was like a fucking headache. We're already recording. I just want to push through. They don't need to see me. We did a bunch of these without a producer cam where I was behind the desk, All and right. it was fine. Don't go. omakase. Don't trust the chef. Chefs don't know rice. Trash <laughs> rice from chefs. Trash rice <laughs> from chefs. Hearing it after you've sung it is like you're 
kind yeah. of putting like a slam poetry angle on it. Trash race. Trash. Like we're just gonna sit Trash. here. <laughs> yeah, it's really, that's what he's waiting for. That's those pauses yeah. of like. I'm in love with basmati, <laughs> seared in skillets that are cast. It's a rice that feels like sand when no, you hold not. it in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't underchar rice. What's the point of this segment, of the speaking it after you sung it? I'm putting together an album of these songs. So, so? I, so wow. I'm premiering them as demos and trying to get notes on the lyrics. You guys aren't giving many, which I'm assuming means it was perfect. When you hit hoisin, <laughs> yeah. I got chills. In a good way. In a good way. All right. I thought that was like if if you could add more of that energy. <laughs> okay. That so you was, want me to really go for it? I thought that was really good. Don't under char rice. Don't cook rice fine. Scald every bite of rice or eat a pear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess, like, for you, so it's, you're cooking, the way you want rice to be I'm cooking, that's cooked, exactly right, I'm no, cooking the in the way studio. you want rice to be cooked is to your taste. Exactly right. And that's just burnt? Charred, yeah, carbonized. Okay. Carbonized. Basically, I want the grains to be cauterized thus. Is that fair to say? No. Got it. Yeah. Um, there are so many grains of rice to choose from. Let me name some bombo rice. <laughs> Long grain white, long grain white rice, brown rice, black rice, and red rice. Thai jasmine rice, <laughs> tons of grits. I think that's my that's my favorite bit. That's you your favorite listen. runner. That's our favorite runner. Is is yeah. all of that and ending with tons of grits. <laughs> Just a lot of different none types. of the other ones had any volumetric yeah. measurement. Yeah. yeah, grits count as rice. You should singe grits. <laughs> <laughs> dark soy. Yeah, see that I really like the eerie it's nature really of that. Haunting. Fish <laughs> sauce, flamed grains. I feel like we're on, like we're the judges on the voice, but we yeah. can't <laughs> turn we can't, our chairs. Yeah, for some reason, like he forced, also is behind a desk. <laughs> we're forced to look at you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Don't cook, so like, don't cook rice fine. Don't cook rice fine. He thinks that he's on all of our teams, and we're like, shit, 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 yeah. shit, 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 Can you dig around. it? Don't cook rice fine. Great. What's next? How long did it take you to write? That was like an hour. It feels like an appropriate amount of time. Yeah, it seems about right. About right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, wax. What do you guys want to talk about? Well, the energy's spoiled. The energy's spoiled? I just sang for you. That yeah. was exhausting. Because I feel like we did it twice. I feel yes. a little like I'm yeah. dreaming. Yes. I'm like, <laughs> okay, can I ask we... you guys this? Yeah. <laughs> after, the fir- after I sang it, yeah. the energy was maybe still there? Yeah. Poison brought maybe. me back. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you actually have, like, you don't have a bad voice. No, no you usually do have a good voice. voice. You, you're hitting those yeah. notes. And it's then we talked through the lyrics, and now the energy is sucked out of it. A hundred percent. Okay, so should yeah. I sing it again? No. no to get definitely the energy back don't. Out. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, cue it up. Every- <laughs> She's one. Good one, um, good one to choose. We've really gotten somewhere, but it's hanging on by a thread. I really need you guys to come through for me, come through for me right now yeah. with the overlapping dialogue, the radio style, so that there isn't those long pregnant pauses for no reason where we're not getting anywhere, right? So, like, let's talk about some shit. Let's dive into some earnest topics. Fish, uh, I almost said fish got indicted. Trump got indicted. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear about this fish. Yeah, fish got a, it feels like a pretty good fish the, the band. band fish. Yeah, the, the band, band is fish, all yeah. in jail. Sure. Sure or yeah? Well, I <laughs> Sure or yeah. So Trump got when does this does this come out on Friday or does this come out next, next Friday? Friday? So yeah. the news will sort of be stale, yeah, yeah. stale. But You're not even from the country. still talking about the, those Gucci bags that were stolen. <laughs> yeah. By that was nine yeah. people. Big news. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is the night winding down? Because it is like 8.40. Like, are we like getting into like a nightcap territory? Is this you hitting on someone at a bar? <laughs> <laughs> that was so sad. Okay, so is the night winding down? Do we, do we want to do a nightcap territory? Is this, are we getting into nightcap? 
right, Kevin. Okay, so let's do that. We'll do three different scenarios. It's a fun little game okay. Uh, okay. and a little improv game where I like I, I'm hitting on each of you guys individually at a bar, okay. and we just see how it goes. All right, sure. Let's, let's start right. with Miles. Let's start oh, with Miles. Okay. But you have to start with that, and then see where it goes from there. You have to start. No, with... No, I think they all have to be organically okay. blank canvas. Okay, okay sure. Great. Blank right. canvas, starting from scratch. Do we know each other, or is this? Um... We we've uh, we I'm walking up to you. We have not talked yet. Okay, got okay. it. Mm-hmm. Is that a dirty? Is that a dirty <laughs> Shirley? Or? Is that a whirling dervish? <laughs> <laughs> dirty, dirty. Sorry. <laughs> are you sorry? Are you trying to get to the bar? <laughs> I'm trying to get to the bottom of your drink. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, because you, my friend, are sort of a tall drink of water. Is it a dirty oh, that's Shirley? That's so nice. That's really nice of you. Or is it a whirling dervish? <laughs> what? Is sorry, your you keep drink. sort of talking. You're talking when I'm talking. I don't know what you're saying, but uh, I'm just waiting for some friends. I'm kind of wondering <laughs> if your drink. This is all I'm wondering. Are you okay? He's blackout drunk. <laughs> is is it a is it a whirling dervish or is it a Shirley Turley? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Because we can spike that up real nice. I definitely don't want you to spike my drink. <laughs> no, not with alcohol. With the mood of our conversation. <laughs> Okay, shoot your shot, young buck. <laughs> I'm nervous as hell. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Makes you so unattractive to me. I don't live close. <laughs> what say you and I take it all the way back to Marina Del Rey? I don't want to go to Marina Del Rey tonight. I have dance in the morning. We can meet in the middle at a hotel that I'll pay for. That is really, really too much. <laughs> You're kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, this has been fun, but I'm just going to close out. I'm married, sweetheart. <laughs> no nice way. shot, though. Nice try. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Scene. That was It was awesome, sad. Man. It was beautiful. <laughs> you shot young buck. I think that was PTA-esque. And I don't mean the filmmaker. I mean <laughs> parent-teacher <laughs> teacher <association>. attendance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mel, now's your chance. <laughs> You're, you're in Hollywood. my chance. Great. How'd yeah. you like this? I'm going to go to this, uh, the double on you that I can crop down to a single. This is real footage. This is real footage. Okay, wait. What are on. you talking about? We're doing a scene. The camera's on you. If it goes well, add it to your reel. Well, here's the problem is that you're, you, we don't have your <laughs> size of the camera. Wait a second. You are, <laughs> fine. It's a sample. <laughs> it's a fucking monologue sample with dialogue. I'd like to just, I'd like to, uh, before you start the scene, so Miles and Jeff were strangers. Sure. This scenario, mm-hmm. you have like, mm-hmm. you're, you've both like seen each other around this place before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's like you've caught each other's eye, but this is the first time speaking. It's like someone out of, it's not like fully out of the blue. It's like, okay, like, yeah, right. maybe okay. could this be a little something? Let's mm-hmm. find out. Sure. Mm, okay. Um, Bailey, right? <laughs> sorry, I'm so good at drink. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Do you want me to no, only talk when you're not sipping? No, that's all right. No. It's just, I'm just enjoying my drink. Sorry. I'll Did leave you say you to something? It. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more good, actually. That was great. Um, that was beautiful. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Your glass is really empty. <laughs> okay, and now, Riley, you and I are good friends. And I don't know. Was was this? Is this? No, the that doesn't work. Is I feel like it works better. Or if we're you're strange. trying to like reassure that yourself. Was, <laughs> I was just that was Riley, positive Riley, affirmation. We're good friends. <laughs> can we, is that, that fair was, to say? We, that was in context to nothing. Like, that was in context to nothing. <laughs> that was, can we just agree on that? Yeah, um, I think you guys are strangers. Up, Miles, but. you set up the scene, but I do want the uh, the kicker to be that Melanie and the same character that you were just <laughs> as. You have to come in and interrupt at some point. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's 10 p.m. at a natural wine mixer. At a heavy oh, natural that. wine mixer. Okay. <laughs> And like a young Hollywood mixer where <laughs> yeah. you try to network? Okay. Sure, yeah. Okay. So it's sort of an industry moment, but you think the moment might be that you're going to hook up. Okay, I want you to start the scene. Okay. <laughs> That's a great pickup line. Actually, <laughs> yeah. genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to <laughs> start, start the scene. scene. Excuse me? <laughs> Just start the scene. Oh, I get it, because I'm an actor. Yeah, and so it's... It, um, no, have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> what, uh... Have I seen you in anything? You approached me and Have asked I me to start a scene. Start a scene. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm normally more modest than this, but you have you've probably seen me in in a couple things. I'm like all over HBO. Sorry, Max, right now. Mm. 
Um, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. I actually, because this is the, you don't know. No, I do. I just this is a young Hollywood mixer, and you're like the 19th actor I've talked to. Some directors, some producers, some writers. And so, what do you do? I'm a union man. Which union? PGA, WGA, SAG, CGA. What is that? Call Girls of America. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So, I I've been told that my voice <laughs> could get even the most arid woman sopping. <laughs> <laughs> Plugs. What do you guys have going on? What do you want to point the people to? The floor is yours. Let's start what are you with calling this episode, by the way. Um Headgum After Dark, probably. Okay. Mm. That's really good. I like it. Unless you guys want to like pitch it. No, I was just oh, curious. We can pitch on it. <laughs> Why I is think another quote. Yeah. Quote? No <laughs> way, man. <laughs> Plug your shit, Miles. Uh, you can watch Perfect Person wherever you get podcasts. You can watch it on YouTube, um, and you can follow me at Miles Bond. Sorry, I'm just there. realizing how much headspace you had in this frame. Is it? Tell me when to stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked. No way. You've been sitting there the whole time, and like you're behind the desk, you're directing this. Yeah. Why does everybody think I'm directing this? You guys, you, you are. Like, you behind are the desk, like, we're participating the... in a shared joy. You're the. T- <laughs> You're the technical director, man. You're on set. So I was like, where Jeff hasn't left his trailer in hours. <laughs> Jeff, you're the director. What? We're participating in a shared joy. You're not. You're in your trailer, and we can see by the way it's shaking that you're wanking. <laughs> Melanie, Ew. plug your stuff. Um, I'm on Instagram and TikTok, and what you, I'm either Melodoodle or Melanie Bracewell on everything. So try them both. Mm-hmm. If you want. Rylance. I'm Riley Ann Spa, Instagram, Riley Coyote on Twitter, and I am a review review on the HeadGum Network. It's an improv comedy podcast. Don't know if you could tell from my amazing improvisational comedy I did on this show this evening, but... uh, No TikTok. I I honestly I mostly use my TikTok to watch Miles' TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. <laughs> now what? Such a long pause. That was for you, you yes. to take. Yeah. Take the <laughs> be shy. Everyone yeah. who listens to this, I think already follows me. So I don't there's nothing to plug. I just let's end it. I thought okay, you were making great. TikTok. Let's go. Let's Aren't go get a drink. Yeah. That's so arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> That was a HeadGum Original.